Hi, welcome to the R Markdown series. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to create plots in R Markdown files and how to use chunk options to control the size of plots. So first, let's create a plot. I'm going to use the built-in data set cars. Let's take a look at the structure of the data set. There are only two variables, speed and distance. To know more about this data set, we can type question mark cars in our console and see the help page about it. So the data give the speed of cars and the distance taken to stop. So the data were recorded in the 1920s. This is a very old data set. Now let's create a basic scatter plot using the plot function. Let's knit the markdown file, see how it looks like. Okay. So it has some default size. Uh, if you think this is too wide, we can adjust the width of the figure using the chunk option fig.width. For example, uh, we change it to 4. Let's knit it again. So apparently the height wasn't changed. Only the width has been changed to 4. Okay, it's narrower. We can also set the height using fig.height option. So you can imagine uh, by doing so, the plot will be somehow like a square. But not exactly. It, it is almost a square. However, you see uh, there is more space over here. Okay? But the entire uh, plotting region is a square. So this is one way to adjust the size of the plot. Alternatively, we can use out that width option. Suppose we want it to be 50% of the width of the page, we can use quote 50%. Okay, pay attention, uh, the quotes are needed. Then we can knit it. Okay. So in this case, we will keep the default shape of the plot but the width of the plot will be 50% of the width of the page. So let's see uh, some other ways to change the size of plots. Let's first get rid of this one and then scroll up. So notice that there is a chunk over here. Okay? Previously, we just ignored this chunk, but this part is used to set all global uh, chunk options. For example, echo equals true by default. Okay. So suppose we put uh, out the width equals 50% here. Then let's see what happens. Okay. So you see it also works. So it will make all of the plots 50% of the width of the page. Okay. We can also set fig dot width equals 4 or 5 here. We can also adjust the size of the plot in the output by changing this default option in the YAML header part. So for example, uh, we can say fig width 5 okay. and fig height 5. Okay. Let's knit it again. Okay. You see, now it also works. Okay. And what if there is a conflict between the global option and the local chunk option? Let's test it. Okay. Apparently, uh, our local option override the global option, which makes sense. We can set a global option uh, for 
other plots in our our markdown output, but uh, occasionally we can change the option for some plots. So this gives us some extra flexibility, and you can play with it. For example, uh, we change the out the width to. 60% and we still keep this global uh, option output option like this okay, it should be a square so in this case you see that uh, the two options were combined okay, they work together so in terms of shape, it's still sort of like a square, uh, but the entire plot occupies 50% of the width of the page. All right, uh, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.